In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9, Section 3, you know, Calculator right now, and the start of the grid ends. So these first three questions are pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at 16. What is the volume in cubic centimeters of a right rectangular prism that has a length of 4 centimeters, a width of 9 centimeters, and a height of 10 centimeters? So a prism, this is something that does appear on the test, is a three-dimensional object that has two equal bases. And so, for example, some of the prisms, um, one of the formulas you're, you're supposed to know at the beginning, given at the beginning of the section, is a cylinder. A cylinder is a prism because there's a circle on the bottom, that's the base, there's a circle on the top, that same circle, and then the height. And the way to find the volume of any prism is the area of the base times the height. So for a cylinder, the area of the base is a circle, just pi r squared times h. So just remember that any prism, it has two equal bases, and the volume is always that the, the area of the base, whatever that is, times the height. And so this is a rectangular prism. So on the bottom, we know that it's going to have some rectangle, and then it will extend up. And I didn't really draw this that well. <laughs> All right, so you get the idea. Not, I was gonna make this, but this, that's more of a, um, anyway, all right, I'll stop drawing. So just remember the concept here, it's the area of the base times the height. And we know that if the base is a rectangle and we're told that the length is four, the width is nine. So the base is just length times width, it's 36 times the height, which is 10. So it's just 360 for this one. Sorry about the drawing. All right, number 17. If x satisfies the equation of what's the value of 2x plus 1? So remember, they don't always ask to find x on the text. Here we're asked to find x, 2x plus 1. Look for shortcuts. There's definitely a shortcut. This is an early grid in question. We have a 4x plus 2. Can we make it into 2x plus 1? Yes, of course. We can divide both sides by 2. We're not changing the equation. We're the same to both sides. Then we have what we're looking for on the left. We have the 2x plus 1, and it equals 2. That's the answer. Question 18. The figure above shows the complete graph of the function f in the xy plane. The function g not shown is defined by g of x equals f of x plus 6. What's the maximum value of the function? All right, the maximum value of g of x, we are adding some constant 6, and we'd want then the maximum value of f of x, which is given. And how do we find the maximum of a function? Remember, x is obviously the x-axis. We're going to move left to right. But to find the maximum, it's the highest point on the function. So the highest point, just think about it, That's the y. Just think about drawing a horizontal line. The, this is the maximum point. So that's 2. So just remember, f of x, when f of x is 2, is the maximum point. But how do we get to 2? So sometimes the question might say, for what value of x to get the maximum? Well, there's a couple points where we could get to the maximum on just y equals f of x. We could have 1, 2, 3. We could f of 4 is, is a maximum. f of 0 is a maximum. And so is f of 4 on the right. So those are all maximum points, but we want the maximum of g. So that's the maximum of x, which we know to be 2, plus the constant 6. So the answer here is 8.